we're now going to look at a few tips and hints for the maintenance of the Rhino Dictator. Let's first of all look at the front end of the Rhino Dictator. First of all, the pads must always be secure at the backboard. If there's any movement in here at all, then you must make sure that these are solid and they're bound to the back. Secondly, always make sure that this is tight. The last thing you want to do is have any hits on this machine if this is not completely attached. And remember, there's an indent in there and the head should go fully up and then this is screwed into place and also remember to use a spanner. Along the end here you have a greasing nipple which looks after this arm and underneath there's a bungee. Just always make sure that you check the front end of the machine, head pad, tightener, nipple and bungee. We've looked at the key maintenance points on the first head. It's replicated and it's the same process across the front of the machine. The next point is the maintenance on the wheel area. Remember that you have a grease nipple across here. You must always make sure that the wheel is properly inflated and also make sure and check for any cracks or anything that is maybe in and around the wheel area. Don't forget to check the wheel nuts on every wheel around the dictator. The next point is you must check that all joins on the hydraulic system, that there is no oil coming from there. And here we have the start of the system above the wheel and it runs along and up into the main controlling system. And just make sure you check all the joints. Make sure that you regularly check the oil level in the pump for the Rhino Dictator. The way you do this is you must, first of all, lower the machine down onto ground level. Quite simply do this by turning the red, which then, if you can hear that, the oil fills back into the machine. You then check the viewing glass here and you'll see that the oil is just on the lip, which tells me, as an operator of this machine, that there is enough oil in there to make sure that the hydraulics are working properly. And if you need to top it up, all you do is you unscrew the black cap and your hydraulic oil goes into there. When raising the machine again is not to over pump the handle. Once you feel a slight resistance on this machine and you can check to make sure that it's cleared the grass, then you've done enough. And remember, you can take the handle out of the machine when you're working as a coach. Quite simply taken out and then put back in when you need to pump or let the machine down. On the left and right wheeling devices on the Rhino Dictator, make sure that these nuts and bolts are always tight. And there's also a greasing nipple down in behind the back of the machine here. Make sure that that's greased regularly. At the back of the Rhino Dictator, you have the tiller and the steering wheel. I'll just talk you through the key maintenance points on this. Obviously, you go down to the wheel, make sure it's always well inflated. All the nuts and bolts are tight. So you'll see that there's certain greasing nipples here one down at the very bottom. You've then got another that sits at the top of the machine here. And then you have one down round the other side at the very base. What you must always check as well, as we've said already, is always keep an eye on all the joins to make sure there's no hydraulic oil coming from those joints. A five minute maintenance check once a week will make sure that it keeps your machine in good working order.